no time even to eat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to your channel for the Gospel of February 8, 2020, according to St. Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a desert place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns, and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and that, for they were like sheep without shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Without time even to eat. To be a priest is to follow in the footsteps of the Lord. We can ask him, Lord, didn't you say that we were going to rest? But above rest is the desire, compassion to help his children. And there is no turning around. That, that is why being a priest is not a profession. By training, I am a CPA, a certified public accountant. And for more than 20 years later, I became an entrepreneur, a businessman. And back when I was an entrepreneur, um, work weeks for me would easily top 80, 90 hours per week. And that would be normal. But being a priest is absolutely different. Because but back then I could just say, okay, that's it, I'm, I'm shutting down the, the, the office, the company or whatever, and I'm going to sleep and then when I come back, whatever. But now, no, not now. Now I, I am for God as a servant the whole day long. And it really saddens me quite a bit to see many of my brothers that think that they are priests for a while. Like I am to going to be a priest for the divine liturgy and then I go home and then, then I do my stuff. I, I change my clothes, I wear my red uh, uh, shirt and whatever it is that I want to do and I, and I live like anything. And it, it's really so sad. Because we see today the example of the Lord. He was tired. But then he, his compassion again overwhelmed him. For there should be no rest for us unless the body absolutely shuts itself out. I confess, dear brothers, that sometimes because I am not so young, sometimes I've, I've uh, let things for the next day praying really praying I remember one day what I went to the rehab center to confess people I spent like four hours confessing in the afternoon and I was tired and I lost an appointment and I decided to go to my home and as I was going out, uh, a person there asked me, Father, can you confess me? And I said, couldn't you wait for next time? But I started praying for him. And I came back the next day. Thank God he allowed me to confess him that day. But I also remember one time when somebody asked me to give communion to somebody that was sick. And I was very, very, very tired. And I said, okay, I'm going to make a little bit of time at, at this hour. And they went to pick me up and I, I went there. And the man passed away that very night. And I remembered my, my inside feelings. I was thinking, well, he can wait for tomorrow. But thank God he allowed me to go and visit him. We don't know who can wait and who cannot. And if we are strong, 
we should be able to go out and visit you when you are in need. We should be praying for you all the time. That is why when we see the great majority of the priests worldwide, especially within the Roman Catholics, the great, absolutely great majority of the pastors in the Protestants, and a few of our, my brothers in the Orthodox Church, they are, they are not really priests. They don't care. I'm not saying that if they are out of ignorance, is not behaving according to the will of God, that he is not willing to become as God wants. What I'm talking about are, is those or are those who willingly, knowingly, do not want to be transformed into the likeness of the Lord. Those, as the Lord has said, are thieves, are mercenaries, they don't only want to have money. They don't only want to have other stuff. And you should be able, as the didache of the apostles taught us, be able to discern, be able to catch them and get away from them. May the Lord himself bless you always. And may you pray for us. Pray for me too. I really need it. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.